Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in last session, we have created a VPC, uh, Internet Gateway, associated that Internet Gateway to our VPC. And uh, we have created a, an entry in the main route table, which was associating a connection to the Internet Gateway. In, so the agenda for today's session is we are going to create two public subnets. So this is public subnet one and public subnet two. So uh, let's go to the agenda for today's session. So we are going to do CIDR allocation for the subnets to be created as a part of our VPC. So the two public subnets that we are going to create. So while we create the two public subnets, we are going to create that two public subnets into two different availability zones. Once the public subnets are created, we are going to enable the auto assign public IPv4 address. Why? Because for public subnets, we would require the IP addresses to communicate from the internet then we are going to create our custom public route table in which we are going to create the entries for internet gateway uh, this will make sure that our public subnets would be able to communicate with the internet then we will also associate our public subnets with this public route table so before we proceed to public subnet creation let's uh, jump back to our aws console so this is the last page that we were landed upon where we added the internet gateway route. So now let's go to Google and search for CIDR David C. So guys, this is a smart calculator. So over here, I am just going to give the VPC that we have created. So over here, as soon as I gave our uh, VPC CIDR along with network mask over here, you can see it gave us that how many hosts would be available as a part of this CIDR. So now, as I said, we are going to create four subnets. Two would be public and two would be private. So let's divide this. So you can see the subnet address automatically got divided and the host also got divided into two now i am again going to click on divide so this host got divided into two and again divided by two so these are the four subnet addresses that we are going to use for our public subnet creation so let's start with our first public subnets for which we will use this cidr block let's go back to our console click on subnets create subnet subnet name public subnet one or custom vpc so let's take it in us east one availability zone one that's us east one a then let's provide a cidr over here let's click on create so as soon as our public subnets get created let's click on it actions modify auto assign ip settings and enable it for ip for addresses so whenever a ec2 instance is created under our public subnets it will automatically get a public ip address by using which it can communicate to internet now let's create our second public subnet custom vpc us east 1b that's a different availability zone and now let's get back get back to our calculator copy this paste and so our second public subnet is also created so let's go to that actions enable ipv4 address so now what would be our next next task is we are going to create a custom public route table so let's go to route tables so over here you can see two main route tables one is for our custom vpc and another is for our default vpc let's create a third one public route for our custom vpc create 
our public route table is created. Now, once our public route table is created, let's go to public route table. Over here, we are going to edit this route and we are going to add a route to our internet gateway. Once I have added the route to the internet gateway, I'm going to go in subnet association over here edit subnet associations and I'm going to select our two public subnets that we have created okay so guys our setup is complete for this session in our next session we are going to create the remaining two private subnets thank you